What's up, bro? Hope you're doing well. As you can see, I'm still half awake only, but uh, I thought I'd record another Forest of Legend video. And I don't think I've ever told you why I even called this Forest of Legend in the first place. But the thing is, I'm a big metal fan, you know? And there's a song by Vector, which is called Forest of Legend, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> the song is pretty cool. Why not call the series Forest of Legend? Because I basically just go around forests <laughs> and don't do much else and talk about some random stuff. And I thought, might as well. And I think it just kind of stuck, at least for now. Who knows, in the future, I might change it. There's a car coming, so give me a moment. And yeah, as you might have seen, I'm on a little bit of a different path than usual, and that's because I'm getting some eggs right now. We have a local farmer here, which is really damn good. Because if we didn't, I'd have to buy all the all the storeboard stuff, you know. And I did not expect this many cars to be here at 7 a.m. in the morning, to be honest, but uh, I guess it happens, you know? <laughs> and this farm is honestly a lifesaver, like they've got milk, they've got eggs, they've got honey, they've got a bunch of stuff, might show you in a moment, although I don't know if I uh, want to show their stuff in terms of like privacy and stuff, well I'll just tell you what they have. And yeah, I think these products from, oh shit, there's another, these products from farms are honestly going to be the future, because think about it, let's go past real quick, okay, there you go, because think about it, at the moment we have like this really in over industrialized overproduced food in the supermarkets we've been eating this for what 50 years a little bit more probably and we're slowly starting to see what this over processing really does to our health and many people and i'm not just talking people from the self-improvement community many people in general are starting to really revert to this stuff like farms, clearer water, more natural products, because one, they're like, oh, animal cruelty, which is okay, fair enough, but I think the main reason should be your health. Like, bro, your health is probably the, it is the most important thing in your life. Because if you don't have that, and you couldn't have anything else, you can't even live life itself. And health is just extremely important. Like, bro, I'm not, I'm not exactly rich right now. But just because my body's, like, really, really doing well, I'm able to live my life really well. And the same can probably be said for you. Like, unless you're bound to a wheelchair, which I hope uh, you are not. But, yeah. This stuff is going to be really important. And since yesterday started eating six eggs a day. Ooh, there's the, there's the hand going. <laughs> and I'm going to do this for the whole break. I do not know what it will do, but I'm just swapping my oatmeal with fruits and milk for this. And we'll just see how it goes. Because honestly, I've got some pretty high hopes. Eggs are some eggs are some really wild food in terms of what they do to your body. Positively, of course. Look over here. The moves. Hold up, let's make a thumbnail here. <laughs> Hold up. Bro, what's up? 
up a little bit more like this. There you go. A little bit more like that. A move. Okay, thumbnails made my dumbass stop <laughs> the video again. I was moving around for a little bit to get that thumbnail. No joke, I was moving on the street. <laughs> At the start, I was honestly really just kind of concerned about the YouTube channel. I was like, yeah, this is this really a thing I want to do? And I, <laughs> I'm sitting there like a stone during these videos and I'm like talking about, yeah, your, your self image is uh, this and that. And, I, <laughs> and I, bro, I didn't even lighten up. I didn't have a smile on my face. I was like, and nothing really came at the beginning. But by now, honestly, Talking to a camera feels pretty comfortable. Alright, bro, there's another fucking car coming. <laughs> Talking to a camera feels pretty freaking comfortable right now. I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, gotta go to the side. I'm really sorry if these car noises are loud, by the way. But I don't think I'm gonna cut them out. I think we'll just have to live with that. But anyway. I think I've made a pretty good leap in terms of how the videos are, like, going themselves. Feel a lot lighter. Feel a lot more... How should I say this? Feel a lot more comfortable. And I know that I can, like, express a lot more. Laugh a little bit, make some stupid joke. And put my personality in a little bit more than, than it was at the beginning because at the beginning I was just like okay I've got to, go, got to get some videos out there like the first 10 let's go and now I'm more like okay cool let's uh, make some videos but it's probably like I don't really think I have to go like completely on script for it to be good and I can really just do whatever I want really as long as I get the message across, and as long as I don't really pull it out too long, I'm like, yeah, this is probably going to work. And I've been making some thumbnails recently, <laughs> but the thing is that the thumbnails, the, the videos with the thumbnails themselves, actually got less views than the normal ones. And I'm thinking about reverting to a more simple style. Because, holy shit, there's another one. Bro, I don't understand what are so many cars going. Like, yeah, people, oh, there's another. <laughs> like, bro, there might be some people going to work and stuff, but still. It's fucking vacation right now. Like, sheesh, bro, just stay at home. <laughs> no, that was a joke, by the way. If you have to go to work, then go to work. But yeah. Also, notice, like, that but yeah. I really need to use less filler words. Like, I think my most frequent filler words is okay. Like, uh, you, have to, <laughs> you, you, have, you have to do your push ups, okay? And I really need to work on those filler words because otherwise the video is just going to feel very repetitive and kind of uninspired to be fair. I don't know, like if you have those filler words all the time, not that good. You want to get into a more natural flow. I think that's the, that's the next goal I want to get in my videos. Overall, I think, excuse me, I think the videos are getting better over time. And for this whole break, the summer break, I'm planning on making a video every single day. Plus a short, so basically two videos. I don't know where it's going to lead me, but I guess we'll just see, to be honest. Because I think... I have never, like, rarely, 
I rarely see a self-improvement YouTuber do videos and shorts in like basically the same, how should I say this? Like they do the same amount of them. So that they do like three shorts a week, three videos a week. And let's see just how it goes. Because at the end of the break, it's going to be like, what, 40 shorts and 40 videos? I don't think that's going to be bad. And I've got a lot of time to fill. Which is also kind of a problem. Because yesterday was the first day of the break. And bro, I, I wasted a lot of time. I was uh, watching, I believe, Age of Empires 2. Because <laughs> I saw that they had a Hungarian campaign, kind of. And yeah, I think I need to just stop the video real quick because there's a lot of people coming in the front back in a moment. Oh, never mind. Okay, no, they're going, uh, going a different direction. There you go. But uh, it kind of interested me. The AoE2 campaign for, I believe, Vlad Tepes, Vlad Dracula. And yeah, I just <laughs> ended up watching a lot of it. Okay, <laughs> the people ended up coming after all. But yeah, another thing that's really sad, I think I've mentioned this in my other videos too, that the forests are getting cut down like hell, bro. Just look at this. It's a dead ass forest. I mean, yeah, there's some regrowth here. And it looks pretty cool, but the fact that like the half of the forest is gone is just really damn sad. Just for the just for the eyes alone, but hey, at least there's regrowth, which is nice, and it looks pretty nice there. And look, we have some more moose, more moose, more moose. Let's make a selfie with this guy. He's he's he's, he's pretty cool. Hello. The lighting is a bit, lighting is a bit shit. Pull up like this. Pull up here. There you go. <laughs> Need to really regrip for a moment. Okay, I have to stop the video real quick again. The thing is that when there's people coming around, I don't, I don't know if uh, I have them on camera. That it's like I don't think they have like the uh, authorization authorization to like tell me, hey, bro, I'm allowed to be on video or I'm not allowed to be on video. Like I might just well, might as well just ask them still. So whenever there's people coming, I basically just stop the video. Sorry about the bad English for the last like 30 seconds, by the way. <laughs> Hope you can still understand what I said. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, there you go. That's another. That's another fill word. I really need to work on that stuff. But still, I do not know what I wanted to say next. There was no real purpose behind that. This place was actually like the place where I used to walk back in the past, where I made my morning walk, but the, <laughs> the problem is, like, this place is nice, but the other place, wait, like, uh, you go in a circle, right? The start of the circle was really fucking cancerous. It wasn't like, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't relaxing at all. You had to go, like, talk, like, to tall grass. And when it rained, bro, holy shit, like, your shoes just became fucking puddles. And it was definitely not a very, <laughs> it was definitely not a nice experience. And since I know the other way, I've just switched to that one because I know, like, hey, there's nothing that can go wrong there. 
Ooh, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of cows moving over here. From here on, I'm not gonna turn the camera around anymore because I do not really know <laughs> if I want my privacy to be. There's basically like a big what's it called like a milk factory like not 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 factory but there's like a bunch of cows here. I think they're grass fed for like a few hours a day and not milked by these machines. At least that's what I've seen so far. And the chickens, yeah the chickens are also pretty cool. There's also goats here. Yeah the chickens. I'm gonna buy some eggs from these chickens in a moment. <laughs> There's like a vending machine with, with, with everything filled here, so you can basically buy everything you want. They've got, they've legit got everything here. It's pretty expensive. Like, usually for eggs, like 10 eggs, you get what? I think you get like 150, two bucks. Here it's almost four, so it's almost double the price. But in my opinion, <laughs> this stuff's pretty worth it. Because just alone the fact how big the egg yolks are, bro, the egg yolks in these eggs are twice as large as the ones in the supermarket. Like the yolks legit fill almost the whole of the egg. And that's that <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty damn cool. And the yolk is also a lot darker, which means that it has more nutrients. Unless it's colored. If it's colored then <laughs> I guess I fucked up. But yeah, I'm gonna stop the video. In a moment. Yes, the right there we are. Eggs are bought. Now it's time to head home. <laughs> the goats. The fucking goats, bro. <laughs> One of the goats trying to climb up a tree. What's up? Looking at me like I killed his mom. <laughs> yeah, again. I hope you saw that. I really hope you saw that. I hope I pointed the camera the right way. Because that guy is funny as fuck. <laughs> He's standing on two legs trying to reach up for the fucking but like what is it, like a branch or something? Yeah, animals are very interesting. Sometimes I just think that anim like animals are smarter than us in some things. Like, sure, they can't talk, but their instincts are better than ours in some parts. And in general, they just seem a lot more competent than a lot of people out there these days. Like, most people I just see are hanging out in their house, like on their phone or something. At least the animals are doing something. They're not looking stupid. In my opinion, the animals use their, like, they don't have that much upper potential in comparison to humans, but they use their potential a lot more, usually, than humans do. Because humans, at the end of the day, these days especially, want a lot of comfort. And we really go down. Like, we are not ambitious, we're not fulfilling goals, we're not destroying the competition. <laughs> sitting at home doing random stuff and I'm partly fuck and I'm partly hit by that too and that is definitely something that has to be changed I'm gonna give you a little spoiler of what the, one of the next videos is going to be. I'm going to make an experiment where I basically revert to my old lifestyle for two days. What does old lifestyle mean? Basically, play video games all day, be on YouTube all day, and watch The Hub all day. So basically do all the bad habits that I used to do back in the day. And just see how I'm feeling. Some of the, <laughs> some people watching this are like, "Oh, you're just coping. You just want to go back to those activities." No, hell, the, 
Hell no, I don't. Porn is fucking disgusting. Video games. Well, I play like one hour a month at most. <laughs> Usually not even that. And social media slash watching YouTube. Yeah, sure, I do watch YouTube. But now the contents are more like podcasts by Chris Williamson. Called podcasts by Joe Rogan. Stuff like that. And <laughs> not fucking Fortnite videos. Where they're showing off the new weapon that was added in the last patch. So... I've almost stopped all of the bad habits. The only bad habit that I still have left is the distraction, which is just going on to just searching up some random stuff and wasting an hour. But at the moment, I don't have anything like that, that I'm particularly interested in, meaning that I'll just read in, uh, how should I say this, in substitute of wasting that time make the best of the time. Considering how much time I have, I might even consider making multiple videos a day. But I guess we'll just see, because it might be a little bit too much. <laughs> I might just save them for later and schedule all of them like a month ahead. Also sounds like a plan. There's people coming again. You know what? I'll leave the camera on. Give me a moment. Long. Long like a charm. You know what? This is, gonna, this is gonna be like the next comfort zone barrier, which I'm just gonna break. Like, I'm just gonna stop giving a shit. Because at the end of the day, if you watch my, watch my short on, uh, <laughs> watch my short on why, compare, why you should just not care about what others think of you, I brought the example that 50% of people just don't come to your funeral if it happens to rain. Like, bro. <laughs> Reminiscing about that now. Like, bro, I think it's just kind of stupid to turn off the camera just because a person's coming. Like, who gives a shit what they think? You're not going to meet them again anyway. For probably a while. <laughs> like, if it's some random person walking their dog. I think they've got more important problems to worry about <laughs> than some guy recording his videos on a road <laughs> seemingly talking to himself fuck bro I gotta take this jacket off in a moment can I do it without the video stopping? give me a moment is there a car coming? yeah there is I do not know what it is, but I'm not a particular fan of cars. Like, yeah, they're fast. Yeah, they are pretty. They're pretty damn efficient at what they do, and they're pretty damn important. But I don't really know <laughs> if I want to have like this a really cool car or something. Like, yeah, a standard car will be fine. But I'm more of a person. I really think that motorcycles are cool. Might put the camera here real quick. Bro, I think if you're gonna drive something, make it a fucking motorbike. Because those things, I don't know, they just seem really damn cool to drive. <laughs> But you just get the Arnold Schwarzenegger attire from Terminator 2 and then just go around the streets like that. Plus I put on a helmet, of course. 
<laughs> I don't want you to die somewhere. I think the reason I <laughs> I love leather jackets so much is simply because of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Terminator 2. If you have noticed, I'm a pretty big Terminator fan, at least of the first two movies. I'm not, not really willing to talk about the rest if you know what I mean. Oh shit, that was a deer from... Bro just jumped out the bush. But Terminator 1 and 2, in my opinion, are two, well, both of them, movie masterpieces, honestly. They are really, really damn good. The acting is good, the sound is great. I think the, I think the idea is pretty cool as well. Let's see if we can see a deer here. No, no, no luck today. Jumped up at these bushes like 10 seconds ago. But he's already already gone. Bro, I swear these cars are getting on my nerves. <laughs> but yeah, sure, I don't mind that much. But you have to go to the side of the road every once in a while. Bro, I swear these eggs are hot, heavier than they seem. There's like 30 eggs. One egg is like 30, 30, kilo, uh, 30 kilograms, 30 grams. Yeah, that's probably like a little bit more than a kilo. Because you have to, you have to think that the eggs themselves are probably a little bit heavier than 30 grams. And plus is the packaging, which is not made out of plastic, by the way, because plastic is not good. It's a lot more comfortable. And yeah. If you're still around by this point, leave a comment and tell me, like, bro, is it really entertaining to watch these videos where I just go around and just talk about random stuff? Like, put the timestamp at where this is right now. And just say like this is interesting because because i'd really like to know i've got the feeling that hey as a person i'm not really that interesting like sure excuse me like sure like i have in, like good habits i don't have like any problems with shyness and stuff but bro that can be said for a lot of others i just i know i'm not that special but I do think that I can be an attractive character if you've watched, uh, what is it called, Dot .com Secrets. But I just don't know if I'm really that interesting enough, to be honest. Like, I don't have anything that, like, really unique. Like, yeah, sure. <laughs> There's like a bunch of these self-improvement creators who are like, oh, I was raised in a bad family. Oh, I, I have trauma from the past. Definitely not like looking at hams or anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but I had a normal upbringing for the most part. And honestly, I do not know what's that interesting about people or about uh, myself to other people. Sorry. It's not like a limiting belief, it's just like a genuine question. Like, if you could tell me what it is exactly, then I could maybe, <laughs> maybe empathize. But I don't know, I guess we'll see. Almost uh, at the end. I'm gonna stop the video soon. Because we're getting back to the city. Because the city is just, I don't know, it's, I don't like going in the city doesn't feel that natural. When I'm in the city, I just like to look around and see what's going on. Even though the city is small, 
I'm still pretty cautious about the people that go around because, bro, there are no robbings here, but some, some of the people are pretty sus. I'm not gonna lie. There you go. This is a, this is a pretty small city as well, like, not more than 100,000 inhabitants. It's usually pretty empty, like, there's much going on. So yeah, there is not exactly much to say from the person coming. So it would be a little silent. Long. Talking like a madman, like you just keep just keep going. I don't even care. I think that's the next barrier I have to break. Because at the moment, I don't really have the confidence to do it. But I think it will come soon. I've got pretty good hopes for that. And to be fair, I don't think it's exactly that hard to break. You just you just have to talk. <laughs> you just have to keep looking straight. Keep looking at the camera sometimes. <laughs> be careful that you don't walk into a tree or something and then uh, everything's gonna be fine because at the end of the day the worst thing the people are gonna think like bro what what is this guy doing is he recording a video and if they think that then who gives a shit yourself when the oh shit when the cars are passed I'm gonna show you all right here we go look at these right here I don't know if you've got this in the other countries but this look there's like fields upon fields of these guys and as I said in winter you just come here bring an axe go in cut it down bring it home it costs nothing I believe or well, at least it's at a reduced price because you can buy them at the market for like what 20 bucks but you can also go and do this which is another very good possibility to get them but it's pretty difficult to hold the camera when both of my hands are there both of my arms better to say are occupied but i'm just gonna like this this is a little close a little bit sus i know but still. I just love it when it's like the temperature the temperature is like a little bit too warm. But like when the wind comes, it's like exactly right. I think that's like the best temperature that there is. Unless we're talking about like a little bit colder. Like if like 10 degrees in my opinion is like banger. Like that's a, that's probably the best out there. Put on a jacket and feel like absolute heaven. But the worst temperature by Fargo is like 40 degrees or higher. You legit can't do anything. Like I'm joking. Like when you're working out, you feel like you feel like you're fucking dying in ten seconds. I do not know. I have like a slight heat intolerance. Like yeah, sure I do survive, but I sweat. One, I sweat like a bucket. And two, it legit feels like your life is being drained out of you. That's why I like the cold. The cold is really cool. <laughs> you just have to put on some more clothes and you're done. The only not so cool thing is when your when your hands start freezing, like when it's minus five degrees outside. I do not know if you have this in uh, other countries. 
Germany it does tend to get a little bit cold. Like nothing in comparison to Finland or something, but still pretty pretty cold here. And it is very, very this is very interesting here. Because when your hands start freezing, well, you, you can't you can't move your hands. That's like one of the weirdest feelings that you can have. You, like you legit, it's difficult to like make a fist like this, or like this. And that's uh, that's why you put on gloves. But if you don't have gloves, <laughs> bro, I remember the time when I forgot my gloves. <laughs> I couldn't open the freaking door at home <laughs> because I didn't have enough power to open the goddamn door with the key. But yeah, I think our Forest of Legend, part 3, is coming to an end, because I'm approaching the city more and more by the minute. And with that said, if you're still here, I thank you very much for watching, and I hope I could give you at least something of value. But yeah, that is basically it. I hope to see you next time. Have a good one, bro.